Don't mind me, just doing my part-time job at Walmart. Anyways, hello and squad, welcome back to the video today. We are back in Greenville with another video. In today's video, we are actually reviewing the most expensive vehicle inside of Greenville. Yes, I'm actually quite surprised that the Tesla Roadster is actually not the most expensive vehicle in Greenville. I mean, one of the terms are way expensive, but it did not show inside the dealership. So that is why I am covering this video where I'm going to be reviewing the most expensive vehicle inside of Greenville. But yeah, if you end up enjoying today's video, make sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure to turn those Make sure to also turn on post notifications to be notified every time I upload and even go live. But yeah. Um, also, this is my second time recording, so if you guys would, um, yeah, hit that like button because yeah, my my audio messed up, so I had to re-record everything. So yeah. Rip in the chat. Anyways, let's actually go ahead and get into the review. But yes, this is the most expensive vehicle inside of Greenville, but what it says at the dealership, not including trims, of course. So yes, without trims, the base trim, this is the most expensive vehicle inside of Greenville. Over here we have the Bacani, Bacani, the Bacani. here it is itself, it is a very very nice vehicle. And one thing I did not know about this vehicle is that the license plate was actually placed here. I'm not 100% sure if that's actually placed right there. If I find a picture of this vehicle with a license plate right there, I'll put it on screen right now. But yeah, here it is, the vehicle itself, a very, very nice sporty car. But firstly, let's go ahead and do the lighting test. Firstly, we have the headlights, taillights, blinkers. Horn. Also, if you want to look, reversing lights. Also, if we rev here, as you can see here, it is spitting flames. Yes, it is. Look at those flames. Those actually look very, very sick. But yeah. But otherwise, without further ado, let's get into the vehicle speed test. And the vehicle does top out at 240 miles per hour. Brake test. That was the braking test. Overall, it is not a bad braking test, even though if it's in a sports car like this. As you guys can see here, we did brake from all the way over here, but it's not the worst. But as you guys can see here, if we go to the dealership and we go to filters, if we do high to low, you guys will see the 2007 P Panini Ostro vehicle, the most expensive vehicle in Greenville. Even with the Tesla Roadster trim, that is $5 million. Anyways, here are the specs. Let's actually go ahead and review the specs. The vehicle type is a coupe. It does require the sports game pass. The car brand is a Panini. The trim is 641F Sport Coupe, and the rims are nine spoke silver. And as you guys can see here, you can buy it for two million three hundred thousand dollars, or just two million. But yes, as you guys can see here, here are the colors.
here are the trims and as you guys can see here it is only available in two trims but as you guys can see if we go to the sport roadster it is actually two million eight hundred thousand dollars so yeah a really kind of big difference but yeah here's also the rims These rims are actually really, really sick. I thought you could only do this at Tires Plus, but I guess not. But yes, those are the rims. The top speed of the vehicle is 240 miles per hour. It does weigh 2,712 pounds. The horsepower is 425 HP. The drivetrain is RWD. The miles per gallon is 12.2 MPG, and it does see two people. All right, so I had to do a comparison on the Roadster here. Here is the Roadster with the convertible option. As you guys can see here, of course, this is most ex of course it is more expensive because of the interior. Of course, as you guys can see here, a very very nice interior, and yeah, that's probably why it was actually upgraded to a higher price because of the interior. I mean, I really don't see any other difference except of this like this i'm pretty sure that is actually the convertible and how it runs so that could be the reason why this is actually way more pricier than the original vehicle but yes now the important question is this vehicle really worth it the most expensive vehicle in greenville is it worth it for my opinion if you have the money then go ahead but i'm not your mother so i'm not going to tell you what to do so if you guys want to go ahead and purchase the vehicle for yourself but this is my opinion and i want to say that is this vehicle really worth it no this vehicle is not worth it for the price it is i mean i can't use it because i usually role play in role play servers so yeah like there's no point of me buying it because i only really buy these cars for videos so yeah this vehicle i probably would never drive in greenville so there's no per purpose of me buying this vehicle but yeah if you guys have the money go ahead if you want to buy the car go ahead but for my opinion it is not a worth vehicle i would rather you guys save your money and not waste your money like uh, me yeah uh that was for the roadster but still you'd be around a million dollars if you were to buy the regular trim if you were to have three million dollars inside of greenville but otherwise, that is really going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you ended up enjoying today's video, make sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications to be notified every time I upload and even go live. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section down below if you feel this vehicle is really worth it for the price. And let me know down in the comment section if you really, really do enjoy this vehicle inside of Greenville or you even have it for yourself. But yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.